La scrittura geroglifica deriva dalla scrittura pittografica, vale a dire da un tipo di scrittura costituita da disegni che indicano oggetti materiali. Gli egizi fusero questa scrittura con quella ideografica, in cui ogni segno rappresenta un'idea. I segni usati nella scrittura geroglifica potevano indicare un fonema oppure un oggetto. This sentence translates to The sun is shining in the sky. Let me explain why. Hieroglyphs, for the most part, are phonetic and represent sounds. The first bird is a quail chick, and it represents the sound W. The foot has a sound B, a B, and the wavy line is an N. This circle at the end, though, is ideographic. It represents the sun and helps make clear the meaning of webin. It's the word for shine. So, two things to note about our first Egyptian word. First, it's mostly phonetic, with no vowels, and often we don't know which vowels were used. Second, an ideographic sign at the end provides a clue to the word's meaning. The second word in our sentence is made up of three hieroglyphs. A mouth sign, er, an arm, eh, and our sun circle again, which has no sound, but helps make the meaning clear. So the sound is re, and it means sun. Next comes an owl. That's pronounced m, and it means in. Our last word has a rectangle, which is a p, and a semicircle, which is a t, so it's pronounced pet. The hieroglyph under it represents the sky. The Egyptians viewed the sky as a canopy held up by four pillars, and the word means sky. In our sentence, hieroglyphs are actually used two ways. Phonetically, to represent sounds, but also as pictures to help us determine the meanings of phonetic words, like the sun and sky hieroglyphs. These signs are called determinatives because they help us determine the meaning of a word. There's one more way that hieroglyphs can be used, and that's as ideograms. Ideograms are hieroglyphs used pictorially but not at the end of a word. Rather, ideograms stand alone. To help you recognize that they're standing alone, they are often flagged in the ancient Egyptian language with a stroke. So we could do some speed writing, and for sun, we could write this, the sun with a stroke. Hieroglyphs can be used in three ways. First, phonetically, representing a sound. Second, as a determinative, coming at the end of a word to clarify its meaning. And third, as an ideogram, where the picture represents a concept all by itself. Si trattava di una scrittura complessa e difficile da apprendere. Per diventare uno scriba, figura che godeva di molto prestigio e considerazione, era necessaria una lunga formazione. <musica>